Hey guys, Jamie here to Vine Lee Canadian Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for you guys for the sign of Pisces. And as usual, we're going to start off with a uh, Spirit of the Animal Oracle set to uh, the ambiance for your reading. Let's see what we have for you guys, Pisces. What message does Pisces need to hear? Spirit of the Animal Oracles for them today. Ooh, the horse. Freedom. I love this one. So your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Uh, that sounds fantastic to me. Now let's pull that life purpose oracle messages for you guys, Pisces. See what you guys need to hear. What does Pisces need to hear, spirit guides? Thank you. And one more. Thank you. So what do we have? We've got career change. Okay, so you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. And uh, then we've got uh, infinite abundance. Okay, that goes well with that. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. And time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. Wow, you got some good ones. Honestly, I don't think I've ever pulled these out before. You got like uh, a lot of new ones. Uh, and I've been using that deck for a while. And I don't ever recall reading those ones. So a uh, spiritual AF message for you. Let's see what you guys need to hear. What does Pisces need to hear, spirit guides? What do Pisces need to hear? Okay, whoops. That one kind of almost folded here. So, oh. Courage is knowing it might hurt and doing it anyway. Stupidity is the same. And that's why life is hard. <laughs> that's an, uh, an honest message, right? So what's the difference between courageous and uh, stupid in your life? <laughs> A big part of adulting is not crossing the line where your rebelliousness turns into recklessness. The people who ride this line most gracefully usually have a clear eye on their values and a good friend or two who will tell them when they're being a dumbass. If you can't decide if you're being brave or stupid, call a friend. Hint, don't call the dumbass friend, though. <laughs> Okay. There you go. Now let's roll the dice. We have every letter of the alphabet on these dice, including for a while. They're going to keep rolling until they have five different letters. Could be your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials, really. Whatever helps you identify who it is you could be dealing with, okay? Y is the first letter. And we have E for uh, Ed. And we've got the letter C. And we've got the letter S. And we have the letter D. Oh, maybe there'll be some dick in this reading. <laughs> I just meant energies, but, you know, maybe there'll be some of that, too. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to grab a drink. One sec. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's going on with your person's energies. Actually, I'm going to... No, no, I am doing this right. I'll be okay. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Okay, anyway, <laughs> guys. This could have happened already. Could be happening right now. Or could happen in your future. So just keep that in mind during the reading. As well, vice versa could happen. I can say this as you here, Pisces. But you feel like your person is here and you are over there. And that works just fine. All right, so let's see what your energies are. Well, well the first one that wants to come out is uh, one of my faves. Uh, the Ace of Earth. Oh, this is a lot of abundance coming your way. A new beginning that's uh, very uh, fruitful. So this could be anything. This could be a new house, a new car, a new career, a new business investment, a promotion. <coughs> Meeting someone who uh, brings a lot of um, good energies, you know. Uh, well, <laughs> we've got the six of air here. You're, you're trying to let go of what's not serving you here. Okay, it says that uh, you have gone through some challenging times, but it's time for this to come to an end and you can now breathe. And I feel like these challenging times were difficult. 
Three of Air is uh, the energy of a broken heart, um, a, a, a breakup. Uh, it could be anything along those lines. Uh -huh. Justice. Libra energy. Okay, it could be legal binding, uh, you know, agreements. Could be the end of a, a marriage. Wow. Release. The peacock. And look at that butterfly there representing a new beginning. It's time to release the past and move on to something new. The ascending is the first step on the way to a happier future. All right, let's clarify. The Ace of Earth, please. Clarify the Ace of Earth. More Pisces. Well, we've got the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're very protective of your energies. Uh, can't really blame you here because uh, you've uh, gone through a, something that really brought a lot of uh, sadness in your life. And um, healing is needed here. But you're going to be stronger than before. Because every challenge in our life makes us stronger. Because we learn from each challenge we go through, right? Nine of Wands. Uh, stop wanting to give up. Okay, don't be giving up. That's the energy of the Nine of Wands. Uh, don't give up. Don't give up. You know why? Happily ever after is a waiting for you. Look at the kitty sneaking on the counter, discovering. Oh, look, it's the Ten of Cups. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to give up now. I'm going to let go of what's not serving me. Okay. Well, well, well. The challenging times are coming to an end. You can now breathe a sigh of relief and let go of the past and embrace a happier future ahead. Four of Cups, stop dwelling on disappointment, on, you know, what happened. You need to let that go. You know, what happened, how it happened, what they did, how it made you feel, you know, and it, you know, it did this and this and that to you. Let that go, man. Get your self-confidence back. The Queen of Wands. This is Leo Aries Sagittarius energy, and uh, this is somebody who has got, uh, you know, their confidence, their self-confidence. Uh, you know, they, uh, they know their worth, and they don't let anybody tell them otherwise. You know, they tell them who they are. They don't allow anybody to tell them who they are, right? So uh, I feel like that's the uh, energy that you need to get yourself back in, okay? Because I feel like you, you're, you're very guarded about what it is that you dealt with. And uh, you, you can't be given up at this point. Queen of Cups. Well, 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 here you are, my beauty. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, water energy. You love deep, unconditional. You know, you're somebody who is um, ready to give your shirt off your back to anybody who needs a helping hand, you know. But I feel like some people like to take advantage of you because of your kindness. And uh, I feel like this uh, Queen of Wands is this backbone. I feel like that you are uh, starting to create, you know, um, when you have had enough. OK, it's like then you no longer um, allow people to walk all over you anymore. Which is what I feel like you realize. You, you realize that uh, you're now stronger than before and you need to um, let go of the pain, the hurt. And the Knight of Pentacles, and there's no rush. Okay, Knight of Pentacles, take your time working on you. There's no rush at all. Look, lovers in a dangerous time. Yeah, baby. You know, you guys are under the sun, some love. I feel like someone new is going to be entering your life, okay? As you let go and work on yourself. Page of Wands. Well, I feel like you haven't had fun in a while, and I see some fun coming in your life. I mean, look at that kitty. He, he's so lost and confused. He doesn't remember how to play anymore. <laughs> what do we do again with that? <laughs> Uh, we all have a cat that looks at toys like that. <laughs> and then all of a sudden they wake up, you know? <laughs> okay, so uh, justice. Well, well there's going to be uh, something that is going to uh, transpire here. So uh, let's see what it is. Page of Pentacles. Well, well, there's uh, an offer coming in. You're like, where's the bag, dude or dudette? Like... How, one tree? I ain't getting up for that. Mm-hmm. 
Uh-huh. Four of Pentacles, you're you're very protective. You're like, well, if you're coming in with a cheap, cheesy offer of the uh, Page of Pentacles, I'm not going to be really reciprocating much. Uh-huh. Five of Cups. You're like, no, no, no. I deserve those two full cups. I deserve, uh, and I feel like that's when you're going to release. Look, it's time to release the past and move on to something new. This ending is a first step on the way to a happier future. Mm -hmm. Yes, beautiful. So uh, I need to let go, man. So <laughs> look at that. The emperor's on the bottom here. So this is uh, the first step on the way to a happier future. I love that line. And wow, wow, three cups, celebrate. Okay, perhaps you're celebrating a new beginning. Judgment, yeah, you finally chose you. Your self-respect, you finally chose, you know, to free yourself of energies that are not worthy of your energies, you know? And uh, that's good for you. I know you want it all. You want it all, but you're still working on yourself here, too. Okay, and I feel like you're you're really not ready, but I feel because you're not ready, you're just like, please, go away. <laughs> like, I just feel like, yeah, King of Swords, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And it could be a Gemini. We've got the lovers here, but this King of Swords could be a police officer, someone in the army, in the navy, in the marines, very alpha energy, alpha male, alpha female. And I feel like that's what's kind of turning you the wrong way. Okay, I feel like you're just, you're being very selective about who you want to bring in your energies and uh, this dominant energy comes in and you're just like, um, whoa, whoa there, cowboy. Remember you got the horse? <laughs> Cowboy, cowgirl, you know? Okay, so one sec here. Yeah, let's see your person's energies now. So Pisces, person's energies. Pisces, person's energies. And this deck is French, by the way. Just letting you know. Je vois très bien, là. I will translate for you. Don't you worry. First energy we have is le deux d'épée, the two of swords. Well, wow, I feel like your uh, person's in a situation where they are unsure about what decision, what direction they want to take. It says, uh, Decision difficile, difficult decision. Aveuglement is blindness. Uh, choix entre deux personnes ou situation. Okay, needing to make a choice between two people or a situation. Indécision. And being very undecided. Wow, wow, we've got Le Monde, a whole new world. Yeah, I feel like they want, they want new, they want something new in their life. It says, uh, mouvement, movement, voyage, voyage, cycle de vie, life cycle, success, success, contrat d'âme, soul contract. It's like your person know, knows what they want. They, they're having difficulties making the choice, but I feel like it's, uh, it's, they know what they want. In the end, they do. I feel like they're just afraid to move forward. And do the denier, the two of pentacles. Uh, their life has been up and down, up and down, juggling finances, juggling uh, personal relations, uh, like like family, friends, uh, perhaps, uh, you know, somebody they uh, are dating or with or not. Uh, we're going to see, but uh, they sometimes have, you know, uh, an unstable energy and it, and it kind of uh, perhaps makes them feel like they don't know what direction to take. Four of Cups, le quatre de coupe. Wow. Well, this is questionnement, questioning, regret, regret, nostalgie, nostalgia. So reminiscing about how things were, how things used to be. Pose needing to take a break and uh, offre divine cachée. So the offer, hidden offer from the divine, which you need to go and um, soul search and find deep within you, right? So I feel like your person is going through some, uh, yeah, challenging times. But look at this, Sister Denis. They are like you, very kind, caring, giving. They're very generous. And it, that's like the first word on there. Generosité, generosity, reciprocité. They uh, love to reciprocate uh, and uh, feel like this um, 
energy is uh, feeling like a balanced energy. They feel very balanced when they're around you. That sounds really nice. Okay, Pisces, let's see uh, your person's energies. The uh, Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here for Pisces person's energies? Why is the Two of Swords here? Six of Swords. They need to let go of some emotional baggage as well. See, on one side, it's like crazy waters, and then the other side is calm waters. They're leaving a chaotic life <laughs> to... Uh, move to calmer waters to try and uh, escape the drama and chaos mm -hmm. and they're holding on tight to, for dear life to everything that they have wow okay this person i feel like has uh, gone through some trauma holy shit effing bonkers as i say that le diable the devil comes out yeah look at look at that, this freaking devil wings feeling trapped <laughs> Yeah, your person, uh, I feel like, was in a situation that they were like, should I stay or should I go? Okay, and then they decided to pack their sh and leave. So, uh, the, the world. Seven of Wands, and they are super guarded and very protective of their energies. Uh, they don't just let anybody into their energies or into their life. They have been lied to, violated, lying, cheating, stealing, trying to get away with something you uh, shouldn't be doing is uh, why this person is so guarded. They dealt with the devil. And now they're holding everything very close. Like, you're like, I'm not, I'm not getting burned twice here. The death, the uh, Scorpio energy. And you have the uh, death here as well. Release. So I feel like you guys are both releasing very uh, heavy, toxic energies. So uh, the two of pentacles, they they could really use some balance in their life. I feel is what I'm hearing, you know. Oh, boy. Yeah. The Knight of Swords. It's like they're constantly dealing with chaos, drama. They're just they feel like they're constantly like putting out one fire after another. The hangman self-sacrificing themselves and their life for others to please others, to help others, which causes a, a major imbalance in their life. Six of Cups. Wow, interesting. Reminiscing about the past. You know, being in an energy where um, <laughs> I feel like this person is uh, looking back as to how things were so much easier back when they were, uh, you know, younger, perhaps but when love was a lot easier because dealing with these toxic energies is just heavier. Maybe they're reminiscing about you. This could be somebody from your past or they're just reminiscing about, you know, a connection that they had once. Two of Pentacles. Balance, balance, balance. And I feel like that's what they're trying to get. Their life is just full of regret, questioning their choices, questioning everything. And this says nostalgia there too. Yeah, I feel like they're questioning everything. Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I feel like they dealt with somebody who's very cold. Somebody who is very... Um, Difficult to deal with in their life, like somebody who they really had to uh, move away from and, and uh, learn to get some balance again. Wow, the emperor. And I feel like this person is not somebody who is easily dominated, but they were. This person is emperor energy, Aries energy. And uh, I feel like they were in a very controlling relationship that they needed to GTFO out of uh, like a major fart in the wind, like really disappear. Wow. And I feel like this person is somebody who's kind, caring, generous, uh, usually very balanced, but I uh, feel like they, uh, they fell into uh, the uh, <clears throat> Black Widow web, you know? Well, well, I mean, they want it all, baby. Ten of Cups. They want it all. And, uh, <laughs> They are afraid to get uh, trapped. Trapped, yeah. Three of Pentacles. You know what this says? Teamwork makes the dream work. I feel like this person just really, really wants to get to know you. Wants to get to know how you are as a person. You know, like they want to know everything about you. 
for the sole purpose they don't want to deal with somebody else who, you know, all of a sudden one day turns into the devil. <laughs> the hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, they soul searched, found their light, their path, their way. And uh, they want their Ten of Cups. And uh, they don't want to just uh, give their energies to just anyone. They want somebody who's going to be uh, a partner. Okay, let's uh, see the energies between the both of you guys, Pisces. Pisces and who they are dealing with, spirit guides. Pisces. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Two of Wands and the Hermit. Isn't that crazy? You got the uh, Hermit right here, the soul searching, and the Two of Wands needing to make a decision. And look at that. I see moving in a new direction, right? You're going up the stairs and getting going somewhere new. And uh, this one reminds me of Austin Powers every time. You know, the tent scene. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, just pull up in YouTube. Austin Powers movie tent scene. <clears throat> Get a few laughs there. <laughs> okay, so uh, two more energies here. Wow. Backpacker of Wands. This is the Knight of Wands. The player energy. The young, youthful... Energy of, uh, yeah, a whole new world, baby. A whole a new world. Yeah, yeah, baby, a whole new world. So uh, let's see. I feel like it's leaving t these energies that uh, aren't serving you to go in a new direction after deep soul searching. So uh, let's see that hermit energy. Clarify the hermit spirit, guys. Hermit energy two of coins i told you man this person wants some balance in their life two of pentacles two of pentacles they really need some balance in their life and they feel like that's what they discovered soul searching they want the ten of cups or nothing holy shit bonkers and then look i said ten of cups or nothing and then we get the uh, ten of pentacles um this is having everything you've ever wanted needed and desired the complete abundance well, well, that's what they want. They want it all and they want it now. <laughs> Look at that temperance. These are two energies being brought together. And I feel like you guys are both kind of feeling like that about love. But I feel like once you guys are united, you're going to feel that connection and want to move forward together. But you got to get rid of that bitterness, that anger. You know, without having any resistance to it. And the two of wands here. Well, well, nine of wands. Don't be giving up. Don't be giving up right here. Okay, nine of wands. Don't give up. And then you got the ten of coins and the ten of cups here. And then you got the ten of cups over here. So uh, I don't see giving up being a good idea for you, Pisces. Yeah, you feel like you've been through a lot. You've dealt with a uh, knight of wands who uh, screwed you over, maybe in a good and bad way. <laughs> you know, it's fun while it lasted. But then uh, in the end, it wasn't as much fun as you thought it would be. Three of wands. I've been waiting forever for you to come back, knight of wands. And I see that you're not. <laughs> Right? Well, backpacker. Yeah, well, they just want some boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room so we can do it all night. And you can make me feel right. And then I'll leave forever and I'll come back. Uh, or I'll come back when I need some more. Mm -hmm. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Choosing you. Self-worth. Respect. Valuing yourself. Look at that new beginning, that uh, monarch butterfly. And then you got the little fairy waving her wand there. You got that light brightening you. Yeah, you know you deserve better than that uh, Knight of Wands energy. Wow, Knight of Blades. I feel like you are just like, like Wonder Woman, just kind of dodging all of these bullets. Lovers in a dangerous time. That's how you guys get together, the world. You guys close a chapter of your life and open a new one. Oh, boy, because you get the world, the world. And I believe you had the world here, too, didn't you? I believe you did. Anyway, it should be here. 
And if it's not, it should be. But anyway, I see a whole new beginning for you guys. So uh, let's see what we've got here. Wow, King of Coins. Somebody stable, grounded, successful, trustworthy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This person, somebody wants to settle down and they want the Ten of Cups too. Oh my goodness. And Eight of Cups. Let go of that emotional baggage if you want this to happen. You need to let go of the past. You can't carry that emotional baggage in a new relationship. Sure, you can give it a try, but it's going to blow up in your face. And again, not in a way you'll enjoy. <laughs> the fool take a leap of faith, baby. Okay, don't overanalyze. Just take that leap of faith. You know what you want to do. You know how you want to move forward. Let go of that pain, that hurt, what they said, what they did. It's not you. You know, you aren't what people have said about you that's negative. So I get that crap out of your head because other people's opinions should be zero relevance for you. OK, like it should mean nothing to you. OK, who cares what somebody thinks or a group of people think? doesn't matter as long as you have confidence in yourself and you know that keep your chin up like i say you know like let go of toxic people if you're dealing with people who only bring negative energies into your life i'm gonna attach that video at the end for you guys to check it out i did that earlier today it's only five minutes of your time but i believe it's something you need to hear if you're having a hard time letting go okay so, uh, Pisces, close your eyes. Whether you are in a relationship or not, focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words that I read to resonate within your heart center. Isn't this crazy? You've got the world, okay, going through going opening a new chapter in your life taking that leap of faith having someone who's got stable grounded energies here and the eight of cups needing to let go of emotional baggage and then you get this love overcomes all obstacles a change in attitude is all it takes to turn things around trust and love's power it will transform you and the one you love and all soon or sorry, yeah, you love all will soon clear. Okay, so uh, yeah. And I see that here, all soon will clear. I mean, look at that. The sun's rising, it's a new beginning. The sun's rising, it's a new day, you know. Um, and then you've got the rainbow and the sun here in the background. And But you need to let go of the darkness, the pain, the hurt. And perhaps work on those dishes. <laughs> It's getting a little messy here. Okay, guys. So uh, let's pull a, a healing oracle for you guys. And see what message you need to hear. What message does Pisces need to hear, spirit guys? What message does Pisces need to hear? Are you effing kidding me? Holy shit, effing freaking bonkers. Freedom. Freedom. It just reminds me of Freedom 55. Remember when we were younger and we would see that commercial for Freedom 55? Now it's like, what, Freedom 85? <laughs> God only knows when we'll retire, right? Anyway, I realize my wounds create doubt, resentment, and guilt. So I work to free myself of the darkness. Holy effing crap bonkers. Look at... I said the dark moon, the dark. Yeah. So uh, I free myself from darkness. I cast off negative thoughts and find peace in my heart and discover the being of light within me. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Wow. This was a fantastic reading, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it, too. Don't forget to thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hit that bell so you don't miss any uh, future uh, readings. And uh, share the reading with anyone who you feel may need to hear these messages. And I do have personal readings open again, guys. So just check in the description box below. Click on the more, and uh, you'll get all the details for personal reading. And just contact me. I do not uh, offer a face-to-face -face Zoom uh, currently. I may... Um, 
in the future, but not any time in the near future. So uh, with that said, guys, I appreciate you more than you know, because I'd be nothing without you. So thank you guys so much for uh, supporting my channel and uh, enjoying my videos. And uh, have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you guys are in this world, Pisces. Love you more than you know, because I'm nothing without you. Bye.